Hi, in this video we're going to look at how Imaginality Create is now much more tightly integrated with SketchUp. SketchUp makes it really easy for you to create your own 3D models, but it also has a library of 200,000 models that you can download for free and use in your Imaginality modules. So to get started with SketchUp, you add a model and you choose Add 3D Model from SketchUp. Now if SketchUp has not already been installed, that's not a problem. Imaginality will guide you through an installation wizard which will automatically download the SketchUp installer and install it for you. If you don't have an administrator access it will also help you through that situation as well. Okay now that SketchUp has been downloaded it will automatically trigger the installation process. You do have to click next a couple of times for the SketchUp installation. and then the wizard will continue with the next step of installing the connector which connects Imaginality to SketchUp. Right, that's done and now it can load SketchUp. So the first time it starts it will show you all of this extra stuff, we don't need to see that. Sure we'll select a template and the connector also installs an Imaginality paddle template. And here is SketchUp with an Imaginality paddle template. The advantage of this paddle template is that it gives you some context as to the size and position of the model that you create. Now you'll notice the Imaginality connector has added these two buttons into SketchUp. We can move these buttons into the top toolbar here. And the first button is to preview your model in Imaginality. So we'll create a quick model and use this button. And there we have it, our 3D model is automatically placed onto all available paddles. Now the second button is to export the model back into Imaginality Create. So we'll give it a name of Cylinder. And there it is. So now that SketchUp is installed, it will be a very smooth process in the future. So now you simply add 3D model from SketchUp, and SketchUp loads with the Imaginality Paddle template. So now we will demonstrate pulling in a model from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. So we go to File, 3D Warehouse, and we get a model. We can search for anything we like. I'll try a helicopter. Uh, this one looks interesting, so I can just click on Download Model, and it goes straight into SketchUp. And now I can place it relative to the pedal. Now you notice it's a lot larger than the pedal, but this isn't a problem. When you preview it, it will automatically be scaled to fit on the pedal. And there we have it. And if we export it to the builder, you'll notice it has auto scale and auto position ticked, which is what is making it automatically fit on the pedal. If we take that off, it will be its original size. So this makes it as easy as possible to add 3D models from SketchUp, but also giving you the ability to control them exactly how you want to as well. Thanks.